Welcome to Free Traffic Domination. In this video we're going to show you how to correctly place login ads. Login ads are very effective ads that are seen right after entering the login information and before the admin advertisement. They have a captured audience who must see them in order to log in. That's what makes them so valuable. But most people use them totally incorrectly. Login ads are only visible for 10 seconds. Not enough time to place any ad other than a very quick graphic ad that creates curiosity. Lengthy, solo-sized text ads never get read and never convert. Imagine trying to read this in 10 seconds, then trying to click the link if you can find it. The only ads we recommend for login ads are the 600 by 300 banners. If your ad is not compelling, your prospect can easily choose to skip the ad. In this ad, the title is supposed to catch the eye. Instead, the lengthy link is what grabs the attention of the prospects. Occasionally, some markers can create a well-designed short text ad that works, like this one. But this is rare. We don't recommend text ads for getting the best results from login ads. We'll be demonstrating the correct way to place a login ad using the 600 by 300 banner in this video. This is important. This is another big mistake many marketers make. You should never place an ad that closes the program the prospect is viewing. If someone is logged into their free traffic hotline account and they click an ad opening in the same window, they'll be taken away from free traffic hotline to the link for the ad. If they want to go back to their members area in free traffic hotline they have to log in and do it all over again. Prospects don't like it and neither do the admins of the program. Login ads should always open in a new window and many admins will not approve them if they don't. We show you exactly how to do this in this lesson. Where to find them? The links needed for placing your login ad are typically found in the members area of programs, usually in the affiliate section. Look for the Affiliate tab and click it. This takes you to the Affiliate Tools page. Since many marketers are promoting an affiliate program, they would use their affiliate link for the program they're promoting. We'll use this as an example. It's usually the first link you see in the affiliate area. It's called your referral URL. Typically below that you'll find the banners in no particular order. This is the login banner, the 600 by 300 in size. In this example you see the banner, a banner URL, and a banner HTML code. These are all important in placing a login ad. We'll show you the two ways that you can place a login ad in this video. The first one is by using a program's ad editing software like you see here. This is the same software that you see when placing a solo ad. It allows HTML code in the ad submission. To get there, just click the Advertise button on the left and scroll down to Login Ads. Click the Click Here link to get to your Add Your Login page. Here's how to place your ad using the HTML editor. First, create a subject. This won't be seen by anyone but you. Its only purpose is to identify your ad. Now, let's place your ad. Because this software allows HTML code, we will use the HTML code located below the 600 by 300 banner. You're about to see just how easy this is. Select and copy the entire code for your banner. Go back to add your login ad and click the HTML button right next to the question mark in the circle. The HTML source editor will pop up. Paste the code you copied right into the editor. Then click the update button on the bottom left. This will take you back to the editing software and you'll see your banner in the field. The next step is very important and also very easy and fast. We're going to ensure that your ad opens in a new window and is centered on the page. First, click the banner. This is how you select your ad for editing. You will see some very small square dots appear around the outside edge of your banner. Now look for the two square boxes at the top part of the editor that are to the left of the anchor. These are your link editors. The one on the right looks like a broken sideways 8 and is used to remove the link. The one on the left looks like a sideways 8 and is to add a link to your banner or a word. Click the one on the left, the solid sideways 8, and you'll see the link editor that will pop up. Here you can check the link to make sure that it's correct 
by looking at the link URL. Then you can determine what will happen when someone clicks the link by looking at the target field. The default option is for your ad to open in the same window. And by now you already know this is bad. To avoid this, click the drop down arrow on the right side of the target field. There you see a second choice, open link in a new window. Just hold your cursor over this choice and let it go to select it. Now click the update button in the lower left and it's done. Happy prospect, happy admin, and your ad gets approved and active. But what did this do? This action added an important piece of code to the HTML, target blank the code you need to have your login ad open in a new window. Now, the next step is also very quick and easy. You want to make sure that your ad is centered on the page when it's displayed. Check that the banner is still selected by looking for the very small square dots that appear around the outside edge of the banner. At the top of the editor, you'll see right next to the striked through ABC four series of lines. The first is left justify, the second is center justify, the third is right justify and the fourth is full justify. Click the second one, center justify, which will center the ad when displayed. What did this do? This action added an important piece of code to the HTML, the text align center, the code that you need to align your ad to the center of the page when displayed. That's it. Click the save button at the bottom of the editor. You're done and it took very little extra time. If you see this editor instead, the other login ad submission software setup is structured to work the same as submitting a standard banner ad. So let's take a look at how you would submit one. First, go to the site where you want to place the login ad to your account and locate the advertising button. Click and scroll down to your login ads. Click the Click Here link to go to the setup area for your new login ad campaign. This takes you to the Add Your Login Ad page. As you can see, it's similar to how the banner ad submission is set up. First, type in your campaign name in the field just below campaign name. You're the only one who will see this, so use a name that you'll recognize. Now, we need the destination link, which is your referral URL, and the 600 by 300 banner URL from the program you're promoting. When filling this information in, we strongly recommend using the copy and paste method. It reduces the errors of typing that happen so frequently. Now, log into the site you want to promote and look for the affiliate button and click it. This takes you to the affiliate tools where your referral URL and the 600 by 300 banner URL are located. In this example, the destination link referral URL is easy to find at the top of the page where it says your referral URL, but sometimes you have to copy it from the HTML code. Copy the referral URL and paste it in the destination link field. Now we need the 600 by 300 banner URL. Go back to your affiliate page and scroll down to the 600 by 300 banner to copy the link. Copy the link below the banner or copy it from the HTML code. Copying from the HTML code is very simple. You look for the link within the HTML code that ends in the .jpg or .gif or .png. Once you identify the link, start the copy process at the HTTP and go to the end, whether it's .jpg or .gif or .png. Be certain not to copy any of the HTML code or the link will not work. Then go back to Add Your Login Ad and paste the 600 by 300 banner URL in the field 600 by 300 banner URL. The next step is very important. This will eliminate all possible mistakes in placing your login ad. Always click the Preview Banner button just below the 600 by 300 banner URL field before you click the Save button so that you can see that your banner link is correct. You will see the Banner Preview pop-up. If the 600 by 300 banner URL is correct, it will display your banner. Now you can check the destination link by clicking the banner in the preview. If it takes you to the page you intended, then your destination link is correct. Now click the Save button and success! You just placed a login ad. This same procedure applies to any size banner that you would place. Now click the Go Back link, then click the Advertise button and scroll down to see your listing. 
If you need to make any changes to the banner at a later time, you can click the Edit button and it will return you to the Setup Campaign field with your links in view. Just delete the contents of any field and place the new link, then Preview and Save. It's that easy.